Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my recommendations for shoes for music festivals. For those that don't know me, my name is Aid. I'm a music festival content creator and I have been going to music festivals for a very long time, which means I have tested out various shoes to wear to music festivals and i'm here to give you guys my best recommendations one of the top questions i probably get asked is what shoes do i wear i have no idea i want to make sure i'm comfortable i can dance all along and i don't want my feet to hurt and so i'm going to give you guys what i have in my closet and what i kind of rotate between depending on the event or the festival and sharing you guys what i wear and what i prefer so if you guys do have any questions feel free to comment it down below like i said these are shoes that i have personally worn myself and that I have tested out and I've also categorized these ones into different categories based on like your comfortability your budget and stuff like that as well so without further ado let's get into it if you like these festival tip videos and whatnot feel free to hit that subscribe button to vibe with me and give this video a thumbs up I will also link a festival fashion playlist down below where you can see my other recommendations on outfits from ravewear brands and accessories and how to create the perfect festival outfit and other videos like that so without further ado do it. let's get into today's video like I said I do have these three categories so today we're going to be talking about casual and functional shoes combat boots and festival rave wear type shoes <laughs> so to kick it off casual and functional type shoes so these are going to be like your adidas superstars your converse your vans these are the kinds of shoes that i typically w maybe wear to more like city type festivals there are also shoes that i really don't care about getting dirty so if i know that the terrain is going to be more dusty dirty maybe muddy i might wear those shoes when i first started going to music festivals i wore converse adidas superstars um a lot of the time i also wear vans to shows from time to time i do find these shoes pretty comfortable you can add a dr shoals gel insole to make it even more comfortable they're pretty easy to wear also for shuffling these shoes are really great so if you're a shuffler and you want to make sure that you wear shoes that you can shuffle and dance in all night long i definitely recommend these types of shoes these are like the tried and true you know these are the easy ones that if you already have in the in your closet great you don't have to go out and purchase them i haven't had adidas superstars or converse in my closet in a while i just haven't replaced them because that's how badly i've worn them down <laughs> i do have the vans black high tops that i will most likely wear to shows not necessarily festivals just because it is the high top i do kind of worry about wearing it for an extended period of time with like rubbing or anything but i do have plans to get some more converse back into my life again so that is definitely a purchase i'll be making soon another functional type shoe that i do wear which tends to happen on the last day of the festival are my running shoes I have Nike shoes. Those are kind of the shoes that I've always had when it comes to working out and running and stuff. So I will typically pack a pair of those just in case my feet cannot take it on the last day, like an EDC or Electric Forest even. I believe I wore running shoes too. You know, sometimes I care for more of that comfort and functionality versus, you know, having the full fit BQ. You know, sometimes we got to do it. So sometimes I will wear those with a gel insole in it, get it done, have my feet feeling good, and that's it, you know. Sometimes I will also sneak in Advil just so I can take it for my feet, and that can also help as well if you feel comfortable doing that. The next category I have are combat boots, and this is when I say that these are going to be more of an investment type of shoe. However, you're not going to go through a lot of these. And so the two brands that I typically use for these types of boots are Doc Martens and Festi Bestie. And so I have used other brands in the past, Dolls Kill specifically, which I don't support them anymore for my own reasons. But I did have a couple of combat boots from dolls kill that did not last they were not durable i would have to like repurchase them if you guys remember those holographic boots i used to wear a lot i got a second pair because the first pair got ruined so quickly i had another pair of glitter boots where the sole is falling apart and so after that it happened i really wanted to make an investment in some solid combat boots for festivals and so i tried out the black doc martin jaden 8 eyes i think are what they're called these are going to be your platform doc martens they're black they have a little bit of a platform to it and i absolutely love these boots they are a bit of a pain to break in i will tell you guys that so definitely break them in i've recently been able to get more comfortable with these shoes because i did purchase a pair of doc martin socks that are super thick they're like two layers 
And then I also got these like heel savers that, you know, they're like silicone rubbery kind of thing. And you put it around the heel of your foot. It's like a sock almost, but just for your heel. Doing that and then having the Doc Martin sock. I w did this for Seismic and tried it out absolutely saved my feet from blisters and so that is going to be my go-to now for doc martin shoes the heel savers i got off amazon so i will link that down below shout out it's becky vibes for that recommendation and someone else had recommended doc martin socks thank you to whoever that was i will link those down below for you guys as well so with the doc martin shoes i love these shoes they're absolutely durable I have taken them to every muddy festival possible and every like ground and any like terrain type festival where it's going to be dusty and dirty and all that stuff like electric forest they've done amazing at and it wipes off so easily when it gets muddy and it gets dirty and stuff like that they're going to last a long time so I know they're really expensive on the upfront cost however when I've talked to so many people they've had Doc Martens for seven eight nine years ten years they've had them for so long and they've taken them to so many festivals so I personally think it's worth the investment as do a lot of people since then, I did get the white pair of Doc Martens, and so I do really want to wear those to a festival because I think the white pair would look really sick. does have a platform to it as well, so I will report back on how the white ones kind of compare to the black ones when it comes to, like, dirtiness and stuff like that. However, I might wear the white ones more to, like, a city type festival just because I'm afraid of them getting dirty <laughs> but because it's also leather I feel like it might be fine but we'll see another pair of boots that are really worth the investment are the Festi Bestie holographic boots so I have the pink pair of Festi Bestie holographic boots and when I first got these boots I went a little bit crazy I think I wore them to every festival since I got them in 2019 I think I got them for Electric Forest and then I wore them literally to every other festival after that these things are so amazing mine does have a little bit of a crack in the actual like coverage of the boot but that's because I think I wore them so much and they've lasted me so long and they're so comfortable I don't even have to put like the Dr. Scholl's gel insole in it and I'm able to walk and dance and shuffle and everything in these boots they recently came out with a black holographic shoe and it is beautiful I absolutely love it I can't wait to try these out at a festival as well I think they also have like a lining inside that is like a fur lining I want to say or a fake fur lining or something but I'm definitely excited to try those out and we'll report back on that since I'll get asked this the sizing for Doc Martin so I got a size 7 I am normally a size 7 in everything however I feel like I still have room in the 7 I felt like maybe I could have been a six and a half. but Doc Martens don't do half sizes if you're in one of those half sizes I definitely size up so if you're like a six and a half get a seven just so you have that extra room and you can do like thicker socks to protect your feet from blisters and other things like that if you were to get like a size down I feel like it'd be too crammed so definitely size up when it comes to the sizing for festy bestie sizing I am a size seven and that stays pretty true to the size seven for that one as well and then my final category, which is more of like the festival rave wear type shoes. These are shoes I probably would only wear to the rave and the festival. You know what I mean? Depending on the festival. So these are some shoes that are super fun. They might have a platform to them and everything like that. So I do have two pairs from Demonia. I have my knee high Demonias that are like a white nylon, I think is like the fabric that it's made out of, but they have the laces that go all the way up to the knee has a slight platform to it I absolutely love these it kind of adds a little bit more to an outfit so if I'm wearing like a skirt or a dress or something or if I'm wearing like a bodysuit I'll maybe add these shoes to it just to kind of spice it up a little bit these shoes are surprisingly comfortable they're also really durable like I wore them to freaky deaky when it was super muddy and they cleaned off super easy, super well. So I was really happy about that. I can also shuffle in them pretty well too. So I do really enjoy these ones. I was a little bit nervous just because I do have bigger thighs, but everything zips up pretty well. And you can also loosen the laces and stuff to kind of get everything to fit perfectly. I think I do want to get the black version of those ones just to have them. I think Emma Capotis has them and I know some other people that do. So I'm definitely thinking about getting the black version size I'm also a seven felt like the sizing was really great on that one too and then I do have the iconic demonia I think techno pagans is what they're called or however you pronounce it these are those white chunky platforms that you see a lot of girls have I love these shoes I preferably would wear those to like a city festival I wore them to seismic dance event when it was a concrete type venue absolutely loved it I really don't picture myself wearing platforms not 
at a concrete venue just because of my personal comfortability. However, a lot of girls do do it. They are really comfortable and they can last all night long. Durability is pretty great. And then I'm a size seven in those ones as well. I do have a black pair of platform demonias. However, I feel like they are too high for me. It's not the same style as the Techno Pagans ones. It's a different style. I think they're a little bit too high for me. I tried them out for a show and I thought I was going to break my ankle. <laughs> so I don't really recommend those ones for festivals. And then finally, I did get a pair of Naked Wolf platform sneakers. I've been wanting these shoes for so long, you guys. And I finally kind of pulled the trigger. I know other people that have a similar style to these ones but it's a different brand called I think it's Norwal or something N-O-R-W-O-L or I think it's N-O-K-W-O-L I don't know one of my friends will comment on it because I know someone has these in their closet but that is kind of like a similar dupe version of that one however I just got the Naked Wolves because I've had my eye on them for so long I definitely think I want to get a black pair of Naked Wolf shoes we will see I have yet to try this out at a festival I have worn them out to a show really like them them. They're super comfortable and they kind of give you like a little bit of height to it. Again, this is a type of shoe that I would probably wear more to a city festival and not necessarily a electric forest type festival if you catch my drift. And those ones, I am a size seven. Those are my top shoe recommendations. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment it down below. I've kept it pretty simple with the shoes that I wear depending on the festival and obviously my comfort level and what outfit I'm wearing. And so those are the different options that I kind of turn to when I have a festival coming up and so I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions. If you did enjoy today's video, please do give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to vibe with me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.